So welcome on the walking base tutorial. We have uh, some things to do and we go first through the uh, basic walking base. The very basic of course is just along the, uh, the chord notes and just three chord notes basically. And then the same on F, same on G. We don't want to waste time on that, that's the very basic, but it's still played. It doesn't mean it's only amateurs from the end of the world um, or from Atlantis who play this. It's uh, still, uh, still always played, at least as a variation on the longer one, which takes also the 7 on board. And it goes like, and then we tie from the 5th to the 7. Then we have the same on F, again on the chord notes, then the 6 and the 7. So important is the finger setting here. You have to grab over the second finger and see it. On G, if we have one bar G, one bar F, we don't manage the whole pattern, so we have to split it in half course the pattern is two bars long. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And if we have just one bar G it's like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and back to C. You see we just manage a little bit of that. Or very often also played and so just to try it up and down and then to the F and C. Now for the when we have the last bar C, so um, we very often have a mini turnaround which is the G7 at the end and here's where it's getting interesting um, because when we have the last bar C uh, it's very nice to play this one. We come from G, F, so one bar G, And C. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So this is interesting for you. It's a very nice variation on this um, static pattern. It goes on uh, we lead. They're all fourth notes. Basically walking bass is fourth notes. One and two and three and four and one and straight down all the white keys. So again start from the beginning. So this is uh, very important to know. Of course now we have um, a couple of variations possible on a walking bass and this is why many might want to watch this tutorial. And this variation one instead of going up to the F um, we go down to the F. So we play the two bar C again four bars, sorry. Now. What did I do? I play the, again, the C bars, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and now. We are in the second bar, third bar th of C, one, and two, and three, and instead of going up, we have to go down again, to reach this one and to go to F like this. Two and three and four and one and two and three. You see, it's nice variation in some keys. We love it to have the lower F. It has a bit more body to it. And uh, so we have to return on one and two and three and four on the setting. One and two and three. And then we go on straight. One and two. we have this usual solution resolution with G and F. Next variation.
What about <coughs> if we have a quick change? A quick change means you have C bar, four C bars, four bars on the tonic, but you have a quick F bar on the second bar. It sounds like this. You see, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So you can do that either with the just playing as much as you can of the usual run. One and two and three and four and here we have the F already, two and three and four, and then go to C. But I would introduce you to something that will be later on important in um, walking bass. That is the following thing. We have the C, and two and three and four and one. So one and two and three. And now we play a note that is uh, a chromatic leading tone. It is. Of course, this is not a chord tone, it would be actually wrong. But uh, we are allowed to, um, to play that if we're leading to, um, to the main note in the next beat and it's on kind of an offbeat. It's not the real offbeat, but it's on the, if we say the heavy times are the one and the three, we can play on the four and sometimes on the two um, chromatic notes to lead into the next root. I give an example. Write this one. Now, four. And it doesn't matter to us as we don't perceive it as wrong because we know it's coming. You see? We could he do it here again. And it sounds also quite elegant as a variation. Um, so we have this now introduced the chromatic leading note in the bass on the four. If the next note is the root again. We don't have to follow a chord here. It's still, we, are, we play our stuff here. It's too short to cause trouble. Now do a C again. Now watch this. It's again on the four. We're leading now to the F. So now we could usually we would play this and then go to F, but we can also come from the top, from above. Here. We don't have to change our chord here. The bass is untouched here, does its business, and as long as it's not staying on these chromatic leading notes, we don't care and it just sounds nice. He's done doing something a little bit else there and we perceive it as elegant, as quite a nice uh, diversion. Now, of course, um, people always try, especially these awful creative people, they're always trying to find something new, but when they found something, I will love to steal it. So another pattern for the uh, walking bass is, uh, so we just recall, we have, and we have, same is you transport it on the F, or then we have split it by half for G, and for F, because we only manage half that figure, now we're having a new pattern, and it's like... I think it also has been played uh, a zillion times we are using a down figure. We're starting from the root and now we walk from this one. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. See, it's also 
very and then we have we grab F straight Remember? Do you remember? Haha! <laughs> so what I do did I do in the last bit? So this is a great little, it's a great diversion variation of the basic pattern. But this is, you know, once do, 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 they are everywhere still. It's not like you're playing here old stuffy stuff. Go to any blues session. It's uh, the bass players do very much the same a lot of the time. Um so when we reach G one and we can, and that always sounds nice, and is I'm going to treat that more often also in the future walking bass lesson is if we approach the root if we have time from below, like we are here, turn around C last bar, uh, last two bars of C. You learned this. Turn it around to G, one and two, three and four, and we go chromatically um, from G here to C. Now chromatic here, F. So these are is the some basic stuff. Um, already having a look at different figures here, introducing the chromatic step and also the uh, bus approach from the turnaround from the bass upwards. So then in the future um, uh, walking bass lessons possibly coming in two weeks, um, we will have a look at other walks and possibly things like between and uh, the walking base for extended chords also. I hope you like this one as an introduction, as a short uh, Thursday appetizer and all the best from Berlin. I hope you like my video and that you learned something. Now you can subscribe, just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.